Good evening, I'm Sophia Ojeda. And I'm Scott Schaefer. We begin tonight in Lackawanna County with a fiery blaze that caused massive damage to a home in Taylor. At, at one point, neighbors say the smoke could be seen through the entire community. Newswatch 16's Sarah Bynovsky joins us live from the scene with more. Sarah. Well, Sophia Scott, you can see behind me fire crews, Taylor police, the Red Cross, all still on scene here on Loomis Avenue in Taylor, where a home caught fire just before 8 o'clock tonight. Some neighbors we spoke with say the smoke could be seen for miles. Fire crews rushed to the scene of a fire along Loomis Avenue in Taylor. A double block home was in flames. A homeowner tells us no one lived in one side of the building. She and her adult son were in the other side watching a baseball game when she said they heard a noise and soon after saw fire. The woman didn't want to speak on camera but told Newswatch 16 her son has some burns but is expected to be okay. A next door neighbor was home with her baby when she smelled smoke. I was sitting on the porch and I heard like a firecracker noise and I thought they were blowing off firecrackers as, as I was walking out the porch there was like shingles falling and then the front window busted out and the flames poured through and then I called 911. People from the neighborhood gathered to watch the blaze. Many were surprised to see all the smoke and flames. When I came down I stood right here and I could feel the heat and the smoke but there was no flames when I came down it was just smoke. And then they busted the windows and now all the flames are coming out. I was like, oh my God, because um, our friend lives over there and we just want to make sure he's all right. I never seen an actual fire before that wasn't on TV. So it's really, it's devastating, you know what I mean? And at one point while fighting the fire, fire crews here sounded the alarm for everyone to get out of the house. Taylor police tell us there was actually someone else inside the home when the fire started. They say when they tried to question him, he ran off. They say when they caught up with him, they found he was having, he had drugs on his body. He will be charged at a later date. As for this fire, we're told it's still under investigation. But at this point, officials say there's no reason to believe it's suspicious. They believe it may have been electrical. Sarah Banowski, News Watch 16, reporting live tonight in Taylor. Sarah, thank you. Also,